Proper stocking density is the one of the most important key factor in the success story of fish farming. Are you a new farmer or aquarist and confused how many fishes to stock in pond? Then you have to watch this video very minutely. Myself Vishwet Ghoshal, fisheries biologist of Nama Bengaluru Fisheries presenting you this very important and useful video. So if you are a new farmer and doing pond culture without knowing proper stocking density of fishes and proper uh, stocking timing then definitely you are gonna face loss or failure in the business of fish farming. That's why in order to help you guys I am making this video to let you know the proper stocking density. So first of all if you are planning to stock IMC or means Indian major calf fishes then what should be proper densities of stocking you need to maintain. First thing you need to choose a bigger sized pond the pond should not be less than 2 acre. If you are doing IMC culture in smaller pond then definitely uh, you will get failure only because IMCs don't uh, uh, feel to grow in smaller area in high stocking volume. They need a large amount or large volume of water with lesser stocking density. The proper stocking density of IMCs are 40 fish or 40 IMCs in a decimal area. Now, if you, you want to convert it into acre, one acre contains 100 decimal. So, per acre area or if your pond is of one acre area, then you can stock 4000 fishes if you don't have any aeration system. Now, what will happen if you install some good uh, capable aeration system or aerators? Then you can drastically increase the stocking densities of IMC from 40 to 70 per decimal means from 4000 to oh, 6 to 7000 fish you can stock in an acre of pond with proper aerators or addition system. Now while you are stocking IMCs you need to go with polyculture not with monoculture means I am uh, detailing it. Now with an example I am describing why you need not do monoculture in case of IMC culture you should go for polyculture. Suppose if you are doing only rohu fish culture in your pond and if that fish get affected by any viral or bacterial attack or any sudden accident then all or most of the rohu fish will become dead. But if your pond is having more than two or three varieties of IMCs like alongside Rohu, if you are having Mrigel, if you are having Katla, if you are having common cars, then pathogen will attack only one variety of fish. Generally, pathogens means bacteria, virus, fungus are species specific or variety specific. So, indirectly, it ensures the farmer against crop damage. Now, as I already have said, what should be the proper stocking density of IMCs? Now, while you are doing polyculture, you need to maintain proper ratio of different uh, level of fishes. Like in case of IMC, there are three levels of fish. Few are surface feeder, few are column feeder, few are bottom feeder. You have to segregate uh, the fishes according to their uh, level of water where they like to take the feed. Who are surface feeder? Katla. Uh, silver curb and biggers are uh, considered as surface feeder they, because they like to take feed uh, either palleted or planktonic feed from the surface volume of water. Those fishes who like to take feed from the column area means from the middle portion of the pond of middle portion of the water they are called column feeder example grass cup and mainly rohu fish okay actually grass cup like vegetations or any aquatic plants while well, we are talking about bottom feeder means they like to take feed from the uh, 
एक्सट्रीम बॉटम ऑफ द पॉन्ड और फ्रॉम द लोअर सर्फेस ऑफ द पॉन्ड हु आर दे इनके सब आई एम सी दैट इज मृगल एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन स्टॉक अमूर कॉमन कार्प और नॉर्मल कॉमन कार्प एज बॉटम फीडर देन इन वॉट रेशियो यू शुड पुट देम दे शुड बी थर्टी फाइव परसेंट फिशेज ऑफ सर्फेस फीडर थर्टी परसेंट फिशेज ऑफ कॉलम फीडर और मिडल एरिया डुएलर एंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट फिशेज ऑफ बॉटम फीडर मीन्स इफ यू आर चॉकिंग हंड्रेड फिश इन योर पॉन्ड देन थर्टी फाइव शुड बी सर्फेस फीडर लाइक कातला थर्टी शुड बी कॉलम फीडर लाइक रोहू एंड थर्टी फाइव शुड बी बॉटम फीडर लाइक मृगल एंड कॉमन कार्प ओके वाइल आर स्टॉकिंग आई एम सी यूनिट टू स्टॉक यूनिट टू लुक फॉर स्टैंडेड सीड और इयरलिंग सीड बिकॉज यू विल गेट अ बेटर ग्रोथ रेट ओके इफ यू डोंट फाइंड इयरलिंग्स और स्टैंडेड फिश देन यू कैन गो फॉर फिंगरलिंग्स और फ्रेशली ब्रिडेड सीड वॉट हैपन्स इफ यू स्टॉक स्टैंडेड सीड और इयरलिंग सीड इट विल गिव यू रेजल्ट विद इन सिक्स टू सेवन मंथ्स लाइक जनरली इयरलिंग्स एंड स्टैंडेड्स आर ऑफ बिटवीन थर्टी टू फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी ग्राम थर्टी टू सिक्सटी ग्राम्स सो इफ यू स्टॉक सीड्स विच इज ऑफ थर्टी ग्राम और फिफ्टी ग्राम इट विल ग्रो अप टू वन के जी और वन पॉइंट फाइव के जी विद इन सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स वेर एज इफ यू आर स्टॉकिंग फ्रेश स्टॉक ऑफ सीड ऑफ आई एम सी फॉर रेजल्ट फॉर टू गेन वन के जी और मोर देन दैट इट विल टेक मिनिमम वन ईयर टू वन पॉइंट फाइव ईयर डिपेंडिंग अपन द स्टॉकिंग सीजन ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टॉक तिलापिया इन एयरटेड पॉन्ड एंड इन नॉन एयरटेड पॉन्ड देन वॉट शुड बी द स्टॉकिंग डेंसिटी पर एकर एरिया इफ यूर पॉन्ड डजेंट हैव प्रॉपर एयरेशन देन यू कैन स्टॉक फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड तेलापियाज ऑफ गुड क्वालिटी इन योर पॉन्ड इट विल गिव यू रिजल्ट विद इन सिक्स मंथ मीन्स यू कैन हार्वेस्ट एट द साइज ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड टू फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम विद इन सिक्स मंथ If your pond is having ample amount of aerators and uh, machineries which provide uh, air flow, wave making, or fountain making, then you can stock twenty thousand to twenty four thousands of seeds in an acre of area. Twenty to twenty four thousand of tilapia means I'm talking about monosex tilapia or gift tilapia. Okay. Now, if you want to stock anbus or Vietnam koi. Singi fish, pabda fish, their stocking densities are more or less similar. For Vietnam koi, pabda fish and desi singi fish, you can stock up to forty thousand seeds in one acre of area. And if you are equipped with aerators or proper aeration system, then you can increase the density up to fifty to sixty thousand also. Now, if you want to stock Gulsa tangra, tangra, or desi tangra, then you can stock up to fifty thousand to fifty five thousands of seeds in uh, acre area with medium uh, aeration. Now, if your question is, if I want to stock desi mangur, African mangur is certainly banned in our country. But if you want to stock desi mangur, then you have to stock twenty thousands of mangur, desi mangur, obviously. in a acre area for proper growth to attain 200 to 250 grams it will take 7 to 8 months with proper density you have to uh, when you are thinking to stock catfish like singi and mangur then depth of water is also a determining factor you need to maintain 2 uh, to 3 feet maximum water depth if you stock catfish in uh, very deep water then there won't be proper growth okay now if you are talking if you are culturing pangasius then uh, what amount of fish you need to stock in per acre area then pangasius you can follow 18 to 20 thousands of uh, seeds you can stock for proper growth it will give you result within 6 to 8 month and it will grow up to 700 g to 1 kg now through this video we have discussed almost uh, most of the commercial cultured fishes 
in case of pond culture in a different video specifically i'll be discussing about proper stocking densities of fishes in reservoir or tank culture means if you are doing bioflock culture if you are doing semi bioflock or rs uh, system then what should be the proper density to get proper growth in proper time one more thing uh, i have escaped uh, in my uh, discussion uh, session that uh, what should be the proper timing not only the proper stocking density you need to stock fish in proper season of year if you stock first batch or f1 batch of seeds of brooders then that will give you the best result okay so when we can get f1 batch of seeds or growth line proper growth line f1 batch of seeds in the early summer months starting from the late february to the may to june means march april may june in these four months you can get better qualities of seeds but yes you can if you are uh, stocking imcs then you can stock up to october to november also because as i said for imcs stunted of yearlings you you can get you can stock uh, any time of the year uh, it's better to avoid proper winter okay and in winter also you can get good growth in case of carp fish especially in amur common carp or in common carp in case of pond culture not only the stocking density for proper success we need a good feed management system good water parameters management and water preparation that will be discussing or we are coming with our next videos so friends and farmers if you think that these videos are giving some really important informations to you then you are welcome to subscribe like and share videos to your friends and new aquarists thank you i am signing off